California sea Found my breath Right in the middle Of the old Oxygen silo Spring Howdy. Hey. Kind of got her trapped in here, don't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> you can? Yes, sir. I'm Lance. Good to nice meet, meet you. you. I'm Ken Kramer. I uh, am the son-in-law to the owner of the 72 Pontiac Le Mans. I watch a lot of different YouTube channels with restorations and fixing cars, and I stumbled across the Restore channel one day and noticed you know, they're from my area, and I liked what they were doing and the care they were taking with the vehicles, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take a chance. Well, tell she's been sitting there a while, it looks like. It's 2002, at least that's what the registration sticker says. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah, so 20 years now. Man, just like anything else, she's become a place of collection. Right. Yeah, it's like our shop. Anything that's flat becomes a table real quick. <laughs> looks like the old paint might even clean up a little bit if you I think spend so. some time with it. She's been covered. Yes, sir. <laughs> the cover, not much left of the covering. <laughs> yeah. That old quilt's kind of stuck to her, become part of the car now. One of the reasons I've been looking to get this car moved is it's in a dilapidated pole barn. It is starting to collapse. I'm worried that the building is going to collapse on the car itself. We'd really want to get the building down before someone gets hurt. You know, whether they just trip on something before the building falls. This barn probably saved a lot of it, but it looks like if we don't move soon, it <laughs> may cause a lot of damage, huh? Yeah, that's, that's the whole reason to give you a call. Is yes, sir. I don't have time to work on it, and we want it to get saved. Yes, sir. I've left the car pretty much intact. I looked at the title. It was one of the first things I, I was trying to find as we were going through the process. Found out it's a 72. Uh, found some different uh, VIN decoders on there. Find out it's, you know, it's not the largest V8. It's the, it's the smaller V8 that's in there. Look at what the plant it was from, you know, and made sure everything matched up on it. So this belonged to your mother-in-law, you said? Uh, it would be grandmother-in-law. Oh, grandmother-in-law? Something that's been around for a while then, huh? From my understanding, she got it brand new. Oh, yeah? In 72. Wow. Uh, but it, as she got older and was unable to drive, they parked it. Yes, sir. And it's just been there hmm. ever since. My name is Carol Bronner, and I'm the owner of the 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. And it was my mother's car. And it was a one-owner car. She got it when it was new. My mother was trying to teach me how to drive and, and on old country roads when I was going to see my grandmother. And she let me drive and I put the first scratch on it. <laughs> I went off, went off in a ditch and, and uh, so I ruined her perfect car. <laughs> Do you have any idea where y'all are going to need to be at on price wise? Well. I'm thinking we can do, a, do pretty close to around 2K or so. 2,000? Yeah. Our, our main concern is getting it somewhere where it's going to get worked on and get back on the road. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, it's something that with my mother-in-law, you know, it was her mom's, it's sentimental. Right. And, you know, I know I don't have time to work on it. I'm never going to get it back on the road for her to drive. Mm hmm So, man, we just don't want the barn to fall in on it. Right. Yeah, and it looks like it might need to move kind of quick on that. <laughs> Well, if you're at 2000 on it, that works for me. As far as getting it out, though, I think our best bet would be to go that way. And I don't know, can we move that truck? We may have to possibly trim some of those limbs there, though. Yeah, we can trim the limbs and we can drag the truck out of the way. Okay. So I'm really happy that we ended up making the trip out here to check this car out. Uh, where it's located is basically in the middle of nowhere. So uh, no one would have really known this car was out here had he not reached out to us. So being able to lay eyes on it now, it's been setting up for 20 years. Uh, it's just really cool time capsule that we'll be able to pull out of the barn here. Uh, it's it's going to take some work. We're just going to have to cut these limbs out around this old Dodge, hopefully yank the Dodge out of place, then just clean the car off and hopefully try to wheel it out of there and get it onto the trailer.
out here spins it. Pile's getting pretty big quick. I think that's about got it. I think so. Yeah. I figure maybe just hook my truck to it and just pull it straight back maybe. I know well, you said you don't have no keys or nothing to it, so. Well, I do got, got a kinetic rope we could use if you think that would help. Oh yeah? Yeah, because all I've got is some chains and it might take a, it might take a pretty good yank if it's, it's automatic, ain't it? Yes, it's probably it is. stuck in park. Yep. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind, we'll I'd love to use and that and I'll get the off. truck back up here and just see what she does. I don't think it'll be too bad. That work for y'all? That worked. It worked. And you sold me on that rope there. <laughs> That's way better than a chain. It's nice, it's soft. You know, I know you were nervous, but you know, when you go, you're supposed to go. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna try to baby it at first, but it didn't take much to yank it on out of there. Yeah, when you go, you store the energy in that rope. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
have to get me one of those. Yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and start cleaning this thing off now then. And hopefully it'll pull out just as easy. <laughs> There was a little bit of everything that had been stacked on this car over years. I mean, there was water hoses, there was charcoal, there was charcoal grills, there was seed spreaders. I mean, you name it, uh, if it needed a place to sit, they chose this car to set it on. We just need to clean everything off, uh, lay eyes on the car a little bit better to actually see what we've got and what we'll be bringing home with us. We had about 500 foot of water hose here. <laughs> There's enough Oklahoma gas credit cards right here to, to make somebody happy. Just siphon. Can't do that. <laughs> Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dog, but I never had to up at all. Coming around the river bank, the old train was so sad. Oh, something jumped out of here, or something fell off the roof. You found the grill and the charcoal. <laughs> Anxious to see what this hood looks like. So far, it looks pretty good. Well, come this time tomorrow. Reckon I don't know where I'll be. But if it wasn't for that old sheriff, I'll be back in Tennessee. Playing cards and crap games, not looking for the score. If I ever get back home again, I'll never own no more. Like a burrito. <laughs> Except I don't want to eat this one. If I ever get back home again, I'll never own no more. Yeah, that's rough is. Pretty scary. Pretty rough, ain't it? Rough or roof? It's gonna be tight over here. Gather round, you good kind boys, listen to my son. May not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard, see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, be quiet and sit on. If these tires will take any air or not, but I figure we can sure back the trailer up here at least try. It sure roll a lot better if it will. Right. Check, make sure we got everything back here. I think we're good back here. I think so. Cool. I guess I'll hook back to the trailer then and try to get some air in these tires. Okay. Hopefully. Now, if the hose will reach or not, oh, it should, should be have the front ones. Yep. It's gonna be close.
I think we'll have enough. Say if they'll even take her. Put that on there, it should. I think it'll reach. I think so. So far, so good. Now she's raising up. Cool. Sound like it's coming out pretty quick too, though. We're up. Now this back one's pretty dry rotted down low though. I hear it taking there. Yep. It's coming up too, ain't it? Yep. Good. I'm gonna try that back one while you while I've got it over here. Yep. It's airing up, but yeah, you're you're right. They're about to. They're bad. I think. Yeah, about to turn loose of their skin. Huh. If any of them don't. Oh, that's cool. This old top got a green top. I thought it was black, so it's green on green. Oh. I'll hand it over that way. If any of them don't, it'll be this one. <laughs> Those two have the hubcaps on? Yeah, yeah. Got both of them over here. I guess you got both of them over there? Yep. Pretty cool. Coming Not up. often you come around with a full set. Yeah, I hear it. I see it coming out. I don't like being this close to it. I know it. <laughs> Good enough to make it round again. Cool. What do you think? I don't know if we need to try to hook a snatch block onto something because we're going to have to come out straight. Forward for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, until we can. I don't think it can start turning right off the bat, but it might. What do you think? I don't know. It's going to be really close to this. You want to try to hook a snatch block I and pull so. it out forward some? Pull it forward, and once we get it. Yeah, we can just yeah. start turning with it. At least halfway out, then it'll. All right. It'll make that turn then. So what we need to do now is go ahead and get this car pulled out from underneath the barn. We really need it just to come straight forward so we don't hit the center post of the barn right beside it there. So we're just going to hook a snatch block up to this tree, try to pull it straight out from there. Once we can make a little turn with it, we'll be able to get it on the trailer after that. I want to make sure it's in neutral. Okay. Doors locked? Doors locked. <laughs> oh, key works. I might have to roll the window down to even get in there. 
How's it look inside there? Good. Really good. Pretty nice. Yeah, back seat's got a little bit, but I mean, interior on the front is really nice. We're in neutral? Uh, let me put the key in and see what we get. We're in neutral now. See what it does? Yeah. It's gonna be tight. <laughs> So far, so good. We're leaking air, air out of the tire, but this front brake's locked over here too. Okay. You can this switch one's turning. Huh. I hadn't seen the back. It's turning now. It's about all we got on the winch cable there. I think now though we can unhook this snatch block and just go ahead and Yeah, I think we're, we're make far enough turn. along that we can make that turn. Say this one started turning. Well, both of these were turning. I assume that back one was. Pretty already, cool. But... Apparently it's got a 350 in it. It's got an emblem down on the rocker on this side. Oh yeah. Got one over here too, yep. All right, let's undo this and then just do it with a straight pull. the hubcap off. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <coughs> Think we need to go a little bit more a couple feet? Yeah, if you can go a few more it'll... I guess got it. This is the first time that this car really has seen the light of day in over 20 years. So seeing it outside of the barn is super cool to us. But now you guys have got to remember, this is also the first time that the previous owners have seen this car in a long time. So we feel like it's a huge honor that they would even consider us on trying to move forward with this car. So we're hoping we're just the guys to help revive the life back into that thing and just let it live to its full potential. Should work, huh? I think so. It's, we're, we're lined up at least. Front wheels are going to kind of flip and flop as we go, but yeah, yeah, I can back straight up to it and should winch it straight on now. Okay. Probably first light of day she's seen in 20 years. Yeah, huh? most definitely. Yeah. Sure is cool looking though. Yes, yep. Yeah. It's got a few blisters in the paint, but I mean, it's it's really good shape. Yeah. I'm excited to get it back. Let me back up straight here and winch it straight up on there. Should be able to get out of their hair. Okay. Well guys, I have to say that this is possibly one of my favorite barn finds we've ever stumbled across. When we come out here in the middle of nowhere, we found what was left of an old Pontiac covered in complete debris of over 20 years. Once we were able to dig through it and pull it outside of the barn, well, I have to say she was in much better shape than I ever anticipated. This old car has been in the same family for over 50 years, and we're extremely blessed that we were the family to be able to take it on to its next chapter of its life. So now we're excited to get her back to the shop, dig into it a little deeper, and hopefully restore some life back into this thing. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you on the next one.